Welcome, 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 you know, when you are big and when you are big, you are big. The world will definitely recognize you. Unlike Bola Metinibu and other presidential candidates, other presidential candidates candidate like Atuga Mbaka and so on, most of them are not invited because they are not political figures. Again, P2P is the only politi the political figure, in fact, the number one political figure and the Nelson Mandela of our time in Africa. That is why most institutions in the European countries and other nations are inviting him to come and give lecture. You know, he arrived at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, you know, ahead of his engagement. You will see some pictures there. Uh, uh, ahead of his engagement and P2P will be speaking at the African Development uh, Conference 2024 and the focus is on the governorship uh, the governance system systems and leadership of uh, Africa and all that if you see a man if you see the kind of topics that have been given to him I, I, I can barely for I, I can barely tell you for free that I cannot even you know give a coherent uh, 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 meaningful uh, you know speech on this particular uh, topic that we are giving to P2P in a prestigious university like the Harvard University in the United States of America. Remember yesterday, I told you guys that uh, he was actually, uh, yesterday, you know, he was at New Jersey yesterday where he, you know, uh, paid a thank you visit to a lot of Nigerians there and, you know, had a, a chip chat and interaction with them. You know, he motivated them and told them, look at how they are going to, you know, solve the problems of Nigeria, look at the problems of Kenya, look at what we are seeing is failing and, you know, he exposed Nigerians in diaspora, you know, and, ted, and told them the need for them to come back and reinvest in the nation. I know he gave them hope that Nigeria one day will become a better country more than the United States of America. And today he, he is at Cambridge uh, University, uh, Harvard University, to come and give uh, a speech on what I just, you know, highlighted earlier. You know, when opinions saw the pictures and the videos of Pito being in the US and, you know, all his doings, you know, and those supporters are always angry and they always shocked that Pito B is, you know, taking them on away and Pito B is going places. He's no longer an, a Nigerian leader. Pito B is an African and a world leader as he stands now. And this is making APC supporters to be angry because the more they try to criticize Pito B, the more Pito B is going from one place to another, you know, disgracing and equally, you know, uh, uh, making them to become more envious and jealous. But I mean, if nobody has seen him so far. Even the AP supporters have not even seen their so-called president. He has not talked to or said anything. But P2P has been the one communicating with people, getting closer to people, Nigerians both in, within the country and in diaspora. Now, you know, when uh, a lot of obedience and Nigerians saw P2P, people started talking. Look at some comments of people. This person said, it will take a while for me to get used to seeing P2P wear a suit or something like this to an occasion. You remember, P2P is different. He always wears his black a kaftan to every, anywhere he wants to go to. But if you see his outfit today at the Harvard University, very different. And, you know, a lot of people are not used to seeing P2P like this. So this person is saying that, you know, he was surprised or shocked seeing P2P in, in this particular outfit. This, this other person said, nice one. We are so proud of you. Of you, it's a happy engagement. <laughs> Now, this other person said, the P2B, my president, keep going, keep going. We are solidly behind you, boss. God bless Mr. P2B, GCFR. Now, this other person said, wait a bit for the Abadorians to wake up. The only thing they will see in this photo is P2B wearing blazers today. The agenda is the, the agenda is that it's not P2B at the Harvard, but another look alike sent to be personating because he cannot speak in front of other people. Just wait a small. This person said that uh, APC supporters and Abadorian supporters will start, you know, forming conspiracy theories because this is what they've been doing. They've been trying to form a lot of conspiracy theories against P2B. They said that, you know, maybe because P2B dressed differently today, they might come out and say that it is not P2B, that this is another impersonator and all that. You know, they always have some conspiracies to cook, cook up. At the end of the day, they will be ashamed and embarrassed and their conspiracy theories and everything will be exposed. And, you know, this is what they've been doing. This is what they have been paid for. So this person is just telling people that they should be that they should wait for AP supporters to wake up and they cook up once in about this particular photo. So if you see P2B and uh, how Nigeria you know, rather than allowing you to see intellectuals that is actually mingling with not APC supporters that are using talks everywhere in Nigeria to harass people and do a lot of rascality and illegality within the country. So, I'd like you guys to drop your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about this P2B story in the United States of America.